Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kenya, also known as Power In Your Curl and I am the curl coach. I help women who are struggling with their natural hair get clear on the type of hair they have and what they need to do to achieve their hair goals. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can grow your natural hair so that it's healthier, stronger, shinier, and just more enjoyable. So if this sounds like it's gonna be helpful for you, make sure you keep on watching. Let's get into the video. To achieve longer hair, you really wanna start with looking at your wash day routine. And for me, what made the most difference in my wash day routine was having the right shampoo. So you wanna make sure that your shampoo addresses any scalp issues if you have them, and that you have a moisturizing shampoo that you use more than anything. So I'm using the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Shampoo with coconut milk, and this shampoo does a really great job of cleansing my hair well. When I get done with using it, my hair feels fluffy and light, and I have hair that can be very easily weighed down, so I appreciate this. And I also really like that it hydrates the hair as it cleanses the hair, so you're not gonna be left with the Brillo pad at the end of your wash day. Because there's nothing worse than washing your hair and it feeling worse after you finish than when you started. So make sure that you have a shampoo that's going to moisturize your hair as well as clean it. You also wanna be sure that you follow your shampoo with either the recommended conditioner or a conditioner that suits your hair really well. I am going to use the Daily Hydration Conditioner from Shea Moisture. And this conditioner is supposed to rehydrate and soften the hair, and it really does exactly that. It makes my hair super, super soft. The formula is very creamy and it goes into the hair easily. It doesn't have the most slip, so when you're detangling, you wanna make sure that you're using a conditioner that allows your detangling tool or your fingers, if you choose the finger detangle, to pass through your curls very easily, very gently. You don't wanna have any Thing that snags your hair or causes any single strand knots um, or causes any breakage so make sure that you take your time when you're detangling your hair I like to use a detangling brush because I feel that it's really really gentle on the hair so I don't have to finger detangle which is a really great way to retain as much length as possible but the detangling brush allows me to detangle gently easily and a lot more quickly than using my fingers so for this wash day, I was due for a protein treatment and I have fine strands that can become damaged very easily because my hair strands are so thin. And I like to make sure that I implement protein within my regimen twice a month. And then on the other wash days, I'll use a moisturizing deep conditioner. So I use a moisturizing deep conditioner twice a month as well. And on this wash day, I was using the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. And this product is designed to give you that extra strength that your hair needs if it's feeling frizzy or just vulnerable and brittle, but it also doesn't make your hair hard or drier than normal. So it has a nice balance to it. And the curls are just naturally defined a little bit more, which is what you wanna look for in a protein treatment. The way that you know it works is that it minimizes frizz, your curls are a lot curlier, and your hair just feels stronger and healthier after you rinse it out. And also, if your hair is shinier upon rinsing it out, that definitely lets you know that it works. So after I rinse out my deep conditioner, I like to dry my hair very gently with a cotton t-shirt. Now you can use a microfiber towel if you have one. I don't have one, I always lose them, so I just end up using t-shirts that I don't really wear that often. And you wanna use a t-shirt or a towel because it's going to minimize the friction that your hair experiences versus using just a regular towel. So I like to gently just wring my hair out, put the t-shirt on top of my head, and and then, you know, I let the hair dry naturally by the t-shirt kind of soaking the water out of it, and then I'm ready to style. It's really important that every single time you go to moisturize your hair, you start with a leave-in conditioner. And today I'm using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. And this is a oldie, but a goodie. It's designed to intensely nourish the hair, and for me, it really does a great job of smoothing my curls and just making it easier for me to get 
good definition while keeping my hair moisturized and hydrated. And I'm going to follow up the leave-in conditioner with the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion. And this product does a great job of minimizing frizz and also just building the moisture in your hair. So the key to retaining length is by having a solid wash day. And when you do go to moisturize your hair, you layer products so that your hair can stay moisturized for five to seven days throughout the entire week. Because the more moisturized your hair is, the more supple and pliant it will be which will make it harder for it to break you want to design your wash day to really boost your moisture levels strengthen your hair and then keep that moisture in your hair all week long and to make sure that I'm layering enough moisture in my hair I'm going to add in a third product and this is going to be a lightweight oil that's gonna to help to seal the moisture in and really help me retain my moisture throughout the week so that I can retain my length and it's the Love Beauty and Planet Sandalwood and Grapeseed Natural Oil Infusion. And I really like that this product has great ingredients. So when you're using an oil in your hair, you wanna make sure that the oils are as pure and organic and as natural as possible. And one of the top ingredients of this product is sunflower seed oil, and I know that my hair responds really well to that. Now, after you've installed all of the moisture into your hair, you wanna make sure that the style that you choose for the week complements your hair goals. So if one of your hair goals is to grow longer hair this year, you wanna make sure that the styles that you choose don't cause breakage, tangling, single strand knots, because all of that's gonna result in you having to cut off more hair than you might want to throughout the year. So I really like to use low manipulation hairstyles. It's my go-to. If you're wondering, a low manipulation style is designed to protect your hair against any external damage, whether that be from you manipulating your hair every day when you wake up or just touching it throughout the day so you want to use any type of twist or braid style that keeps your hair compacted where the hair is twisted or braided together because there are strength in numbers so if you have just strands of hair flying freely in the wind it's gonna incur more damage than if you just had you know a bunch of hair compacted together flowing in the wind so one of my favorite ways to cheat and make it seem like I spent more time with my hair than I actually did is to just use a scarf to kind of make the eye dance around my head. And I like to use scarves that have really bold patterns. That way it looks like I put even more effort and time into my hair. So you can take any size of a scarf and just fold it into a thin headband and tie that around your head and boom, ready to go, hair in a ponytail. You can zip out the door and run errands or go to an event. It's a very versatile style. Or if you want a little bit of razzle dazzle, you can take that same headband folded scarf and tie it in the front and then twist the ends of the scarf on each other. Then wrap the ends into a little mini bun at the top of your head and it's just a cute, unique look. And it also looks really good if you put your own hair into a bun. And you can wear this, like seriously, you can really dress this up with some type of professional outfit or an event outfit, like a dress or just a nice, sleek, sexy outfit. Or again, you can just go to the grocery store. Another tip for growing long, healthy, natural hair is to minimize how often you use heat. Now, everything that you do in your hair journey, you wanna do in moderation. And some hair types can take to heat better than other hair types. So if you have fine strands like me, you may notice that no matter what you do, your hair does incur some type of damage when you use like a straightening tool. So I would minimize how often you use that. But if you kinda can't help the itch of using heat sometimes, I recommend making sure that you're using a really great heat protectant and then maybe doing a blow dry style instead of doing like a bone straight style. Now my last two tips for you are focused on the maintenance of your hair. You want to make sure that you have a really solid nighttime routine that keeps your hair protected. And what this looks like is you using either a silk or satin pillowcase, a silk or satin bonnet, or a silk or satin headscarf. And I use all three just because I like to have, you know, all the protection and all the things in case my head's 
scarf comes off, I still got my bonnet. In case my bonnet comes off, I have my pillowcase. But really, you just wanna use slippery materials that the hair can slide around on without having friction. Because again, friction causes frizz, and a lot of the times, a cotton pillowcase or a cotton headscarf will suck the moisture out of your hair, which is counterproductive to all that work that you did on wash day. And lastly, you wanna make sure that you trim your hair regularly. You can do this at home by just dusting your hair with your hair shears. If you don't have hair that's fine like mine, if you have more like normal to thicker strands, then you can get your hair trimmed every four months, but you should be doing it on a schedule no matter what. Just just to get the inevitable split in or single strand knot or just dry in out. So those were my nine tips that you can implement today to help you have more moisturized, healthy, and longer natural hair. And if you've heard these tips before, I really challenge you to take a look at your regimen and see if you're actually implementing the tips because we can hear all the advice and get all the help and the information, but if you're not taking action on what you're learning, then you're not going to be moving forward and getting to that goal that you really deserve to reach. If you're looking for more help and advice for low porosity, fine natural hair, make sure you check out the other videos on my channel, Power In Your Curl. And if you want to look at hair help from different hair textures, I strongly recommend hopping over to the All Things Hair channel so that you can get a little bit of variety in your YouTube videos. But I do appreciate you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. I hope that you have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!